Hello everyone, so today I am flying to Baltimore in Maryland to participate in a planning meeting for the workshop I'm gonna participate in this summer. So I'm going to John Hopkins University for that. I haven't talked about what I will be doing this summer but I will probably do so during this vlog. So I'm gonna participate in a six week workshop around AI where the goal is to advance research in um, a specific subject. My subject is to improve speaker recognition in adverse scenarios. It will be researchers from around the world that go to my university to work on a common goal together for six weeks, so it's really great. I will be working on multi-tax segmentation. I can talk about it later. I don't know much about all of this, all I'm saying, because I'm just starting out my master's. It's my first, first real semester, I can say. I don't know a lot about the whole subject yet. Sometimes it feels really overwhelming because I feel like there's such a huge mountain for me to climb before I get to a point where I'm comfortable. But I will get through it. And I just finished packing and I'm waiting for my dad to come pick me up and so we go to the airport. So I'll see you later. Out. I just arrived in my hotel, it's really nice. Yay, I'm so happy. I just uh, um, passed, passed Johns Hopkins University. Um, it looks so nice. I would really be happy studying here. Um, it would be a lot of change from uh, studying in Canada, in Montreal. So yeah, I'll show you my hotel room as we always like to do. Bathroom. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, and here's the bedroom. Oh, Baltimore. What is the view here? Not so much. Okay, so I still need to improve my vlogging because I wanted to bring a tripod but I didn't. And now I regret a lot because I need to keep my camera in my hand and it's really exhausting. Um, so I'm staying at an hotel and they just gave me a cookie when we arrived so that's really nice. I'm gonna eat it now. Um... Mm. It's like a nut meal chocolate chip cookie. So now I just got um, ready a little bit. I changed my shoes. Um, I put on some comfortable ones um, for the summer. It's really it's 21 degrees Celsius here. I don't know how many Fahrenheit is that, but yeah. So I'm going to enjoy the sun. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'll probably just listen to some music and enjoy the sun and walk around the university because um, the hotel is right in front of Johns Hopkins University. It's still difficult to say Johns Hopkins. The S is bothering me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go now and I don't know anyone so I think I will feel comfortable filming a vlog while I'm there. I think I'll try.
hope you will hear me well. There are some fountains. I don't feel like you will hear me well. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so I just walked around the Johns Hopkins University a little bit. It was really nice. Um, I don't know what to do now. It's 6 p.m. and I just have something in the almost two hours, so I'm free until then. Which, like, I don't know. So I just arrived in my hotel from from walking around the university for the afternoon. It was so nice. The campus is really beautiful. I think it was the last day of classes for the students at Johns Up. I can say it. Johns Upskin. <laughs> Johns. I need to practice. Johns Upkins University. So everyone was happy. Some of them were playing. There was also a match of lacrosse that I didn't film because the lady was like. I need a ticket to get to be here <laughs> and I just wanted to look over the fence but I guess I couldn't so yeah now it's uh, 6.40 I will get ready because in an hour I need to be downstairs in the lobby to um, go and have uh, dinner so I'm gonna get the uh, freshen up and then I'll go there so I'm all ready for my dinner tonight with the researchers I will be working with I still need to explain that but yes I really like my outfit um, here it is. So this is from Old Navy, Old Navy as well. My jeans probably H&M and the shoes are from Payless sh sh Shoe Source. I really like it. So I had a problem with the bathroom. The toilet couldn't flush and my bath is clogged. So I went downstairs to ask that it would be fixed because I took my shower and while I was in the shower the, all the messiness of the other people's were was coming in the water and it was really uh, disgusting okay so I thought I would explain a little bit more of what I'm doing this summer as I haven't done that already so this summer I'm gonna participate in a workshop the workshop is organized every year by Johns Hopkins University that's why I'm here today there's like four or five um, subjects I don't know all of them by heart but mine is uh, speaker recognition in adverse scenarios so uh, recognition a better recognition of the voice in scenarios that are not controlled in this big subjects we have we have different teams um, that are divided under that my team is going to be working on multitask segmentation and domain adaptation the plan right now is for me to work mostly on multitask segmentation right now when we do a machine learning task with a voice we need to train separate tr neural networks for voice activity detection speaker change detection and overlap detection so when people are speaking um, on top of one another all of these tasks are now done in separate neural networks so my research this summer will be to train one neural network that do all of that and it's called multitask because one neural does multitask and um, yeah so that's one of the big thing i will be working on this summer um, the workshop will be organized uh, will be happening in montreal at my university so at ets from june 10 to the beginning of august like three ter 3rd or 4th of August and that's really exciting I will get to work with researchers from all around the world there are some people from France, from Italy, from China I think from the US, from Iran, from everywhere so I'm really happy and I will meet my team in real life in a couple of minutes but they are from France and I really like them I met them on Skype for a couple of occasions and they're really nice I'm very excited for this thing and um, yeah I think I said everything um, but this summer I haven't told you what I will be working on this summer so this summer right now we are May 3rd the workshop starts next month so I have a month right now to get started before the workshop so I need to read some scientific papers about my subjects because I don't know anything at all right now it's all new to me the purpose of the workshop for me is to get started with that and get some knowledge in that field do I have anything else to say so yeah this summer I don't have any bachelor classes I'm only working on my masters 
Um, I'm putting my bachelor in software engineering on pause for the whole summer and I will be finishing my bachelor from September to December and then I will graduate from my bachelor and will continue on for my masters for probably until December 2020 right now is really an exciting time for me I just need to check the time because I need to leave okay I still have a couple of minutes so yeah, I'm really excited because there's a chance for me to do an internship at Johns Hopkins University and visiting the campus today, it was so beautiful I would really be so happy to have an internship here I think I would prefer 4 months over 8 months but I think my professor is currently pushing for 8 months for me to be here I'm really excited and I can't wait and I hope the future will send me to Johns Hopkins University because it seems so so nice I really want to experience the um, college life in the US I think it's very different from here from Canada maybe I should do 8 months so I'm living even more the college US college life that's about it I'll see you later and I will try to film at dinner but I'm not sure I will because I'm very shy and I will meet all of these person and researchers for the first time ever so yeah so I'm just editing the video now and I realized I didn't film anything after that first day so I just wanted to update update you and tell you what happened during that trip in Baltimore so um, I went to dinner and um, the next day we had meetings from 8 a.m. I think until the end of the day and afterward we just went to, to dinner together again and it was very uh, intensive meetings like back to back for like seven hours I think so can you imagine being in a meeting and for seven hours it's really um, energy consuming so I was so tired I don't think I even thought about picking up my camera and also the next day it was the same thing so we had meetings from 8 9 a.m. until um, 12 then we had lunch and then we were um, I took the plane back to Montreal so it was just uh, meetings and to prepare the workshop that happened this summer or as you're watching this it already happened it was from June 40th 24 to August 2 if I'm not wrong I will be publishing a blog post about my experience soon so if you want to know more about my experience in research in machine learning um, please subscribe to my channel and visit my blog yomostech.com Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.